Make poop at home. Thank you so much for helping us figure out what's wrong with Michael's digestive system. We couldn't have done it without you. Let's apply what we have learned about the digestive system and make our own poop now. Please prepare the following materials. Do you remember the first step of food processing? Ingestion! Yes, so now let's put our biscuit into our bag. Just like putting it into our mouth. We're gonna seal the bag and crush it with our hand like this. This is like chewing with your teeth. You crush the biscuit into very, very small pieces. So it's easier to digest, right? After the biscuits is crushed by our teeth, we are gonna add some water into the bag, which is the saliva. Half a cup of water is enough. Then we'll seal the bag again, and we'll crush it with our saliva. What is the next stop after your mouth? Yes, it's the stomach. So, what is in the stomach again? Yes, we got a very strong hydrochloric acid in our stomach. We'll pour a quarter of cup of vinegar into our bag and we crush it again. Just like the stomach churning the food with this acid. Woohoo! This is my favorite part of the experiment. Do you remember what comes after digestion in the stomach? Yes, it's absorption in the small intestine. I have prepared a sock made up of very thin material to be our small intestine. So now I'm going to put my sock over the cup, just like this. Now we are going to pour our digestive food into our cup so that our small intestine can absorb all the nutrients in the food. Take out our socks and squeeze our socks so all the nutrients will be absorbed. Woo! Wow, this cup of nutrients looks so yummy. Should I drink it? No, never drink or eat the experiment that you're doing. Good job! Now comes the end of our digestive system. Do you remember what comes after absorption in the small intestine? Yes, it's in the large intestine. So today, we have prepared some kitchen towel to be our large intestine. Let's get three pieces of kitchen towel. Let's pour the digestive food out. The remaining of our food with all the nutrients absorbed already. So these are the undigested food debris. Wow, look at that. Does that look like your poop? Hmm, so smelly, right? Yeah, but it's still too watery. So let's fold our tissue paper over it and dry it off. Try to dry your poop as much as possible. You can try to make it into any shape of poop that you like. Ta-da! This is my perfect poop here. Good job everyone today. And I wonder what's the shape of your poop? Thanks for watching. Want to explore more of the human body with Bobo? Sign up now and get started with a free trial. See you soon! Thank you.